Das wird der Durchgang, wo wir einfach nur mal auf ihn hören. Nicht nur zuhören, sondern auch seine Ratschläge annehmen. Und uns allen voran auch am Ende gegen den Gedankenpalast entscheiden. Da bin ich schon gespannt, wie anders das aussehen wird, aber erst einmal Hallo allerseits. Und willkommen zurück bei Twin Mirror. Neues Spiel, Speicherplatz 2. The skies are finally clearing up after a light rain fell most of the afternoon. The weather's approaching 49 degrees, so we've got a brisk West Virginia evening ahead of us. Wrap up tight and settle in, folks. This is 104.3 WBCK, the Basswood Sound. I'm your host, Carrie Hammond. Coming up after a short break, mental health expert Dr. Wick will discuss the recent opioid epidemic that's been affecting... gleich zum Abspann. <lacht> Was ich liegen lassen werde, sind die ganzen Details, die Sammlerstücke und die ganzen nächste nee, so Sachen. Ich will nur die Zwischensequenzen mitnehmen und die Entscheidung und ja klar, die Wege, die dahin für die Gespräche mit einigen Charakteren genommen werden müssen, zum Beispiel Joan vom Café oder auch Joe bei der Statue. Time to kill before the funeral. Might as well spend it here. Das Tagebuch wird auch nicht mitgenommen. Es wird kein absolutes Durchhalten. Somewhere for things to fall apart. Hat mich aber auch nicht groß aufhalten, zum Beispiel sowas hier lesen. Ah ah. Wo ich mal kurz innehalten werde, ist diese Aussicht, weil die ist einfach zu gut. I came up here every chance I could. One of the all-time great views. Really makes a small town look big. Und dann auch noch mit der Lichtstimmung. Das war so ziemlich die beste Entscheidung, die ich dieses Jahr getroffen habe, diesen großen Bildschirm zu holen. <lacht> Schöne Orte in noch viel größer und auch noch schöner zu sehen, das ist einfach richtig schön und gut. Das trägt der Immersion ungemein bei. Schon noch schick. Und auch butterflüssig, also 160 Bilder pro Sekunde, kein Problem. Mal so noch nebenbei. Schnitzerei mitnehmen. Ah, ah. I used to love looking at basswood from up here. It helped give me perspective. Until that day. Wake 
Why can't the real world be as clear and peaceful as my own mind? Das ist natürlich auch besonders, besonders dieser Gedankenpalast. Der ist auch so gut gemacht und der ist auch ganz schön hilfreich. Mal gucken, wie es jetzt dann am Ende ohne does, sein wird. Nothing stays hidden in here. Not even me. Come on, Anna. Look at this. <laughs> What is it? Someone skinny dipping? Anna, you really need to see this. I can't even see. Something's blocking it. Sam, what are you doing? I'm trying to be romantic. Haha, <laughs> verarscht. <laughs> Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. I'm down on one knee, a ring. What else would I be doing? You look like I just ran over your grandma. Okay, the silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, please say something. Sam. Put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. You should know that. We've discussed it before. We weren't happy. She was the one brave enough to face that. Lost in my head again. How much time did I miss? the funeral. Maybe it's for the best. On the bright side, Nick's not alive for me to let him down again. Kehre zum Auto zurück. Du hast schon genug Zeit vertrödelt. Das ist eine Ansage. Sorry, Walter, but I don't think I'll stick around. Given up already? Just a quick, depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. And you might be right. But it's been two years. It's time to face the world. Time to adult. The good news though, at least you don't have to do it alone. Lost the signal. Some things never change. Einfach 
dann kommt ein WLAN-Symbol, als ob hier WLAN wäre. You actually came. It's been a while. You've gotten taller. Can we talk? We're talking right now. It's cold. Ist die Frage, ob ich hier anders drauf sein will. Hm, gute Frage. So you left. Joan, that's not fair. You left. It was more complicated than just me and you. It's always more important than me. Joan, listen. After Anna and I broke up, I couldn't keep living with her. I didn't have anywhere else to stay. So I moved back in with my mom, who's over in Connecticut these days. You didn't call, text, or anything. You were just gone. I don't know what to say to that. You're right. I wasn't in a state where I could reach out to anyone. I'm still not. If Nick hadn't died, I never would have come back. Thanks for being honest. <laughs> You're always at least honest. Listen, I, uh... I wanted to talk to you about what happened to Dad. It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have just crashed. He drove like a grandma, you know that. It's wrong. I don't buy it. I'm just in town for the funeral, Joan. I'm not a PI or a cop. You're the closest thing I can talk to. Will you just look into it, Muley? Please? She wants her father's death to mean something. But where does that lead? What if it leads to the truth? That could change everything. An hour ago, you wanted to run away. Now you want to start another investigation? A few questions won't hurt anyone. Just tonight. To reassure her. And myself. This is a wake. If you poke around, people may end up poking back. Okay, whatever you do, at least leave the kid out of it. It would be cruel to lead her on. Friends don't lie to each other. Even if it means disappointing her again? It's your call. Hmm. An sich würde ich ja schon ganz gerne auf Jones Seite stehen. Aber ich bin konsequent. Ich will gucken, wie sich das einfach eventuell anders anfühlt, wie es anders aussieht. I wish it didn't happen too, Bug, 
but sometimes life just isn't fair. I thought he meant something to you, too. He did mean something to me. He was my best friend. But you can't fix this by trying to force pieces that don't fit together. Whatever. I'm tired. If my mom asks, tell her I went home. Gefällt mir natürlich immer nicht. Werden wir Joan schon mal nicht da in der Kneipe sehen? Might as well talk to Walter. I'll have to sooner or later. Yes, the cat food is under the sink. Yes, yes it is, Mother. Trust me. Oh, Samuel is here. I'll call you back. Samuel Higgs, as I live and breathe, has it really been over two years? Regardless, I'm so glad you finally made it. Um, um, or not, um, um. It's good to see you. What kept you? A trip down memory lane. I missed the funeral, but I made it to Nick's wake. You have to bring it in for a hug. It's a basswood back in town requirement. So good to see you. Even if I wish the circumstances. Still not a fan of being touched? <sighs> Is anyone? We're big huggers out here. Big huggers. We've never understood that. Also, have you spoken to Anna lately? No, why? Um, no reason. If you get the chance, we should catch up. We should really catch up. I'll see you inside. Wie benimmt das nicht? Was lässt sich erklären, weil Sam das noch nie gemacht hat? Okay. Mr. Samuel Higgs, big shot investigative reporter. Didn't think you'd ever be back in here. I'd gladly slash your tires. Would that mean you couldn't leave town? And you are leaving town right after this, right? This is kein Gegenteil durch noch werden. Well, Nick's memory only goes so far. Wobei das natürlich auch That's interessant wäre, überall wo es geht anzuecken. Das ist aber nicht geben, du Arsch, geh weg. Making friends already, I see. Declan, been a while. Hey, careful. I'd rather not be working tonight. And you always seem to angry up everyone's blood. I plan to be out of here by morning. Don't want to stay any more than you want me here. Uh, don't rush out of here on their account, but maybe don't dawdle either. You watch yourself. I think it's time I go put up a photo at the memorial board. That's what people do, right? What are done? Draußen vor der Apotheke oder neben der Apotheke dann. 
I didn't know you read Dickens, Ethan. So I had to throw them all out on their ear, and only then did I realize. Ah, Samuel, my favorite ex-muckracker. Join us. Join us. How was the funeral? I wasn't there. Setting up for this. Everyone came. Most of the town, it felt like. A sea of sad, wet eyes. I gave the eulogy. Felt hollow. So hollow. He worked for me for years. For years. My best reporter. What do you even say about him? Everything had to be just so. His desk, straight lines and clean. Once, Anna turned everything on his desk around just to see what he'd do. He moved his chair to the other side of the desk. It's the small things. Like he always kept his window down. Said cars made him claustrophobic. That's how he stays with us. The little details. I remember the bar bets about that safe spot at Pac-Man. He, he got me one night. Yeah, got me once too. I can't believe it's real. Enough about Nicholas, enough. Tell me, how have you been, Sam? How have you really been? Got a new start, new perspectives. I'm helping my mother with her garden. I've been volunteering. Terrific to hear, my boy. Terrific to hear. Well, I think I've taken enough of your gent's time. Go, mingle, circulate. But you must join us for an actual round later. You must. Yeah, that could be nice. Maybe. We'll see. Think about it, Samuel. A drink with friends is worth a thousand among enemies. Nehmen wir das mal so mit. Sammy! Oh, it's been ages. Sammy. Tara? <laughs> oh, me? I've had this stomach thing lately, always churning. Uh. And this thing with Nick, his car went up like a Sunday ham. He burned alive, you know. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Um, no. The infamous Sam. Not so nice. I've read that article you wrote. Das war aber schon vorher irgendwie klar. Ja, ja. Put in a lot of legwork on that. Vorteile haben sich aber bestätigt. It isn't something I talk about, especially here. Understandable. Maybe some other time. Oh, don't hesitate to drop by the pharmacy sometime. Oh, and Sam, you... But for now, I have a feeling you're not here for us. Oh, oh, right. Don't be a stranger, Sam. Kathy, uh... Sam, you actually came. You. You got some nerve. Joan texted me. Says she already went home after you upset her. I was just... I don't know. Look, Joan was really hurt when you left town. Nick and I were never close after the breakup, and... Joan's never had a lot of friends. Yeah. Um... Maybe don't break her heart this time when you leave town. All right? Hard to make promises. I don't do well with those in Joan. I've noticed. But I'll try. Sam, I'm gonna hold you to that. Sorry we lost touch. Sorry I lost touch. Rest up, big guy. This photo always looked weird. Nick could never keep a straight face. Samuel, guess I lost the bet. Bet? Yeah, that bet you'd never come back to Basswood. Not after you went careening out of town like a bat out of hell the instant that article broke bad. Well, Dennis, I won the bet I had with myself that you'd be an asshole right off the bat. That was a safe bet. 
What are you even doing here, Dennis? You and Nick become friends or something? Nope. He thought I was a drunk, which I am. And I thought he was a hack, which he was. This coming from the IT guy. Didn't know resetting passwords could give you a journalism degree. It can. But it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. Relax. I'm just playing. <laughs> At least tell me how you've been. Schade, mal lieber keine Waffe dabei. Yeah, like you'd care. Ah, uh, not too much. But shoot yourself if you want to be like that. Anyway, cheers to Nick, a man that, unlike us, people actually liked. Speaking of which. No more than 3,000 milligrams a day. I thought it was 4,000. <laughs> That's what So, Sam, how's life been treating you? The same way it treats everyone. Some days are better than others. Well, that's pretty optimistic, coming from you. I try. You staying in town long? Not really. Why? You think I'm going to disturb the peace or something? Huh. Wouldn't be the first order. time. Have a nice evening, Sam. Die guckt schon so extrem unfreundlich. <laughs> Immer diese Vorteile, diese Äußerlichkeiten. I can't believe you showed up. Anna? Sam! I've missed you. Why did it take so long for you to darken my doorstep? Ausnahmen bestätigen die Regel beim Umarmen. I won't lie, it really hurt coming back. I stopped by Lookout Point on the way here. Sam, why'd you do that to yourself? A desire to open old wounds? The old timers gave me hell when I came in too. People around here have short tempers and long memories, but most of them mean well. Sam, the mine was gonna close anyways. 
Maybe in a year or two, five, if the Lord has a sense of humor. It was gonna run dry or have an even bigger disaster. It wasn't your fault. Yeah, I mean, I understand that. It doesn't make it easier, though. It's gotta make it a little easier. When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. Whenever people talk about you, he always says, you did the right thing. Yeah, well, your dad's Joe. He's an oak, unmoving and annoyingly supportive. <laughs> it wasn't just him. Nick thought your piece was great. He was actually jealous. He always wanted to write something that shook the pillars of heaven, as he mm -hmm. used to put it. You know, Nick and I had moved in together, started to get serious. But I think it's only now I realize how much I cared for him. But you and Nick started going out? When did this happen? A few months ago. He... He never told you? He asked me to let him be the one to say something. You two had been so close. He probably tried. I hadn't been answering his calls. Ah. Uh, that's the worst part, right? Anything broken just stays broken now. But this... Th this was all nice. The funeral, the wake... Walter did a good job. But it all just makes me feel... heavy. It makes my heart hurt. Like Nick's memory has been laid on top of me and I'm still... carrying him. It's hard for me to really just wrap my head around it. Nick being gone. Smart. Don't rock the boat when the person in the boat just lost a loved one. It's big. <laughs> I can't get my head around it either. His stuff is all over my house, but he's just missing. Things without an owner. Most of it I'll probably give to Joan and Kathy, the, the throwaway. I don't even know. Sam, I'm tired, and if I'm gonna drink and cry, I wanna do it alone. I played that stupid, stupid song like I told myself I would. He said, or he used to say, it made him ache. I did it, and I'm going home. We need to catch up, though. Let's meet for coffee tomorrow and talk. Really talk. 9.30? Yeah. Maybe. I'll be at the cafe across from the paper. Christina's. It was honestly nice seeing you. Samuel, come. Have a round with me. I need a drink or two. Or three. Mm, then I'll go. Keine gute Idee. Bitte die Waffe wegstecken, das ist richtig weit weg. Achso. So, Nick wasn't drunk, and me? I was drunk as a skunk. Ah, Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. Join us. We were just sharing stories about dear Nicholas. And let me get your next round. Maybe Ethan has a suggestion for a worthy spirit? Ah, oh, spirits? Oh, no, no. Friends drink beer. Yes, I suppose that's fitting. To dear Nicholas. Yeah, he'd been coming in a lot lately. Sat right there. With a bad dad joke or two. <laughs> with friends, I guess? Maybe Anna. No, oh, by himself with his laptop as his date. He never drank alone. You two were close though, right? Tell me about the man outside the bar. He had a terrible memory. Couldn't remember names, dates, passwords. Kept his notes squirreled around him like a horde. He 
He was always good with Joan, though Kathy did the heavy lifting. Took her to school, fed her, clothed her, and Nick would pick her up. Play dad for a few hours, mostly she'd just sit in the office drawing. He'd drop her back off with her mom after dinner. Greater men have done far less by their daughters. The friend of man, the friend of truth. The friend of age and guide of youth. Few hearts like his with virtue warmed, few hearts with knowledge so informed. If there's another world, he lives in bliss. If there is none, he made the best of this. Burns, that from your eulogy? You know Robert Burns? And no, just something I keep on hand for toasts. Well, it's a good choice. And sorry about that, Sam, I wasn't trying to bring you down. Everyone liked him. I think even Dennis liked him somewhat. He always had a lot of friends. A few who couldn't make it sent flowers. How's the family taking it? Kathy seems haunted, spread overly thin, and I saw Joan storming off. Kathy has a lot to deal with, now more than ever. But who could prepare for losing a parent? Not a soul, not a single soul. It always seemed so easy for him. Every day he'd show up, smile, no matter what. Of the qualities in a good man, that one deserves to be at the top. Not a quality I possess. This isn't a place for self-pity. This is a place for dour reflection. Yes, and drinking. Warum sind die Gläser eigentlich wieder voll? To Nick. Yeah, it's nicht so. He was my friend. He will be missed, but not forgotten. Here, here. Wie schön vom Ansetzen. Flüssigkeit aus dem Glas zu schmiert. I'd say that went well. Ish. You got to chat with everyone you've been avoiding. Even if the years didn't smooth their animosity as much as I hoped. Just shut up. Coming back to Basswood was your idea. You're the one in the driver's seat, Sam. I can't make you do anything. Deep down, you've been looking for a reason to come back. It's gonna be one of those long nights inside your head, huh? I am so very sorry. You stuck in existence, stuck in my head, just a terrible state you're in. Get your anger and sarcasm out of your system. Better you take it out on me than anyone else. You're back out in the world, feeling emotions, Fitting in, that's progress. Fuck the world. Pointless talking and more talking and no one says what they mean. Go away. Let me enjoy being miserable. Just try and make sure you don't do anything stupid. No mm. promises. Auch die Geschichte mit dieser zweiten Stimme mit dem imaginären Freund. Das gefällt mir auch. Feel like a small 
jackhammer in my left temple. Hat Anton diese Möglichkeit, sich auf seine Seite zu schlagen oder ihn einfach konsequent abzulehnen? Das hat was, das ist gut. Ist Sam eigentlich hier reingekommen? Hat er sich das Sam zugedeckt? Oder war einfach zufällig niemand da, als er hier rein ist? Oder generell hierher gekommen ist? What did I do? Wie war das nochmal? Komplett in allem vorbei rennen? Wenn ich gerade an die Spiegel denke. Diese Fragmente an Sam, das hat zum Beispiel was von Quantum Break. Der läuft der Typ. Ich weiß es schon gar nicht mehr genau. Ich glaube, es wurde passiert, oder? Bis zum bitteren Ende. Nur die hellen Spiegel, nur die dunklen. Schon dabei. Bloß kein Feichen mitnehmen. Es wird röter und röter. Das ist nicht so nett. Schuld, 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 schuld. Nicht bewegen, das ist ja voll fies. Na, na, na. Lasst uns nichts reinstolpern. Vorsicht. Da hinten ist es sehr. You're doing good. Really good. You're almost there. Focus. Choose. Act. Deliberately. Get far away. Don't think. Just go. As far as fast as I can. Hide. It's never happened. Going on. If 
I run, I'll keep running. I'm going to face what happened. Answers. No, that's just pretending nothing is wrong. I've done that enough. Hm. Man lässt uns nicht. Na sowas. Erstmal anhören, bevor man eintritt. Das ist die Grundbedingung. I know what you're thinking. Stop thinking that. Pills and alcohol? You're lucky enough you didn't wake up dead. I need to know what happened last night. The last place I remember is the bar, so I'll start there. The squeaky nail gets hammered down. Maybe don't play Lone Wolf Detective. I can poke around without making waves. Mostly. It used to be my job. You're great at finding facts. Not quite so good at blending in. I can't just run from whatever this is. So either help me or get out of my head. It's your life, Sam. I just live here. <laughs> ich wohne nur hier, wie das klingt. Dann hau ab. Ja, nicht. Das heißt keine Miete. Things change, the more they stay the same. Do you really think breaking and entering is a good idea? Used Ethan's hidden spare key, no breaking involved. I don't know if he'll see it that way. I could wait for the bar to open, or I could look for answers. I picked the latter. here last night first look around figure out what happened I ended up drinking alone so who brought that second glass Do this. Sorry, Nick. What knocked this clock off the pillar? sent scattering someone thrown into them ripped did this happen yesterday or was it always like that it seems there was a fight that could explain the blood on my shirt does it mean that I was involved I won't be able to find out without more evidence
Hugh's business card. Wonder why it's here. Tja, einer der bösen Buben. Was war's denn noch? Die Jukebox muss es ja eigentlich noch sein, aber... Hm. Komm, das zwingt erst später? Ne, die Mütze. Joel's Hat. Maybe we ended up having it out after all. Da fehlt immer noch was. Was fehlt denn jetzt noch? Also jetzt wird es gerade etwas eng, obwohl es noch gar nicht so lange her ist. So ein Detail. DG. Dennis's initials. Was he involved in whatever happened? Wouldn't surprise me. I think I've seen enough to put together the pieces of what happened last night. Just gotta think it through. Der Gedankenpalast ist schon echt cool. At least I can always count on this place to make sense. Now to work out what happened while I was blacked out last night. I just need to think it through logically, throw out impossibilities. Until only the truth is left. I know I got into a fight, but it could have played out in many different ways. I have to think it through, find out what really happened. Man könnte ja noch mehr Möglichkeiten ausspielen. Wäre natürlich eine Möglichkeit. Drinking on my own, and someone approached me. I can't remember who it was, but I know we got into a fight. Obviously. If I figure out how the fight went, I should figure out who my assailant was. Das sollte jetzt relativ einfach werden. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. Looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. That could be it, but I still have to figure out who was sitting next to me. That's Dennis's. I definitely wanted to shut him up last night. I have the complete picture now. You know, the man who talks to himself has an idiot for an Fuck audience. Fuck off, Dennis. <laughs> I see why you have so many friends left in town. Yeah, you would know about that. At least my best friend never slept with my ex. Who do you blame more, huh? The backstabbing asshole or the bitch who... Talk about Anna or Nick that way. You think you know who Nick was, Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. 
No one in this town does. What are you talking about? I'll show you. But not here. Sam. Meet me later at Sam. Tja, hätte vielleicht doch mal drüber gesprochen. Dann würde er vielleicht noch leben. Ethan is coming back in through the front. At least I think it's him. You think it's him? I can't actually tell if you can't tell. What I know for sure is if it's Ethan, he may not be happy to find you here. So I strongly suggest you leave. And if you don't, well, tell him you're here to apologize about last night. You trashed up his bar and then broke in. Time to leave if you're leaving. You'll want to apologize. Trust me. <laughs> Get off me, Mr. God damn. Sam? You're, you're not here to rob me, right? Ethan, I, uh... No, I'm not here to rob you. Oh, good. I won't have to break your legs. I'm here to apologize about last night. Ah, uh, I thought that might be the case. Don't sweat it. This place gets busted up once a month. Sounds rough. I guess it's it is what it is. Buy a bar, you gotta run a bar, you know? I'll take cleaning up your dumbass mess over dealing with family any day. Ethan, I'm I'm really sorry about last night. I I wasn't myself. No one's on their best behavior after losing a loved one. I know I'm not. At least my sister isn't dead. She's just ruining her life. She wants to be called Kayla now. Ruining her life? Yeah, living in some commune. Dropped out of school. Life of a heathen. We all make mistakes. Yeah, and I feel like she makes most of them. Sam, I got a lot of your mess to clean up. So, if you could, you know, leave. I got places to be anyways. See you around, Ethan. Ganz nebenbei macht sie ziemlich tolle Werke. Aus Holz. Achtung, Waffe, ein Waffenwarnschild in den USA. Oh. I come back on the town's Miner's Day celebration. Well, you always did have great timing. No time to dwell on that. Focus. You tried Dennis's cell phone. No answer. So what now? There's that coffee date with Anna. Anna might have to wait. I want to see if anyone has seen Dennis first. I don't know. I'll play it by ear. Just remember she's expecting you. She's extending the olive branch. Don't drop it. Knache Ansage wird gemacht, aber nicht mehr in dieser Folge. Aktuell ist sie Coins. Das waren jetzt also praktisch vier Folgen in einer Stunde. Still have time before meeting Anna. Might as well ask if anyone saw Dennis. Genügend Zeit. Frage nach Dennis. Machen wir aber eben nicht mehr in dieser Folge. In der nächsten dann. Gucken, wie Joan reagiert, ob sie überhaupt da draußen sitzt. Ich denke schon. Sie wird, denke ich, nicht so gut reagieren, aber das finden wir heraus. Und bis zum nächsten Mal. Macht's gut. Und tschüss. tschüss.